Today we're going to start some portraits in the style of artist Pablo Picasso. And they are not going to look normal. They're going to be the opposite of normal because Picasso's portraits were what you call cubist. They were made out of a lot of geometric shapes. So to start, we need a piece of newspaper, a piece of paper, and a permanent marker. And please make sure you get your name on your art. Also, a ruler would be very handy for making some of those geometric shapes. I will also have some circles available to trace if you wanted some of those for your project as well. And our only concern today for our face is making the shape of the head, neck, shoulders, hair. We are not making eyes, nose, and mouth today. Your first mission is to think of a geometric shape you would like your head to be. Something is not normal, so you don't have to go with an oval. You could use a triangle, a square, a rectangle, a diamond. Hmm, diamond. That sounds interesting. So I'm going to use a ruler to mark out the points of a diamond. I'm trying to make it very large. And I'm using the ruler to connect my dots. Then I do need a neck, which I would like to be very geometric. There's my neck, it's beautiful. And I need a shirt. That'll be a shirt collar. It's also very geometric. Here's a shoulder. There's another shoulder. And then for your hair, think wild, think crazy, think unique. So I am going to make mine very spiky. And remember, you don't have to copy mine. I would rather you didn't. I would rather you came up with something very unique that I have never seen before. And Picasso liked to divide the face up into parts, so I'm going to make a big zigzag line that divides it. <clears throat> I did not make the eyes or the nose or the mouth. That will come later. Once you hit this point, then it is your job to take markers and decorate your head. So Picasso's head were not always completely colored and solid. So you could have parts of it colored and solid and other things you can break up. For example, on the hair, it doesn't have to be one color. You could always take a marker and make the hair a checkerboard. And you could leave it like that or color in the boxes. And they don't have to match either. They could be different in every single section. Just remember whatever you do choose to color in that you take your time with your marker. It's best to kind of outline the object first. Use the fat part of the marker and color it in nicely.